Hey everybody, it's Danny Black and I'm back with a quick little tutorial on smoothing out skin in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first, I'll get the photo, put it in um, Photoshop from Lightroom. From here, I'll Command J, you know, make a copy. And then from here, I'm just going to go straight to smoothing out the uh, wrinkles. I could go to, you know me, when I first start, I do the spot healing. I clone the hair, the flyaways, but right now I'm just going to show you how to get some of these wrinkles out of this denim top. So what you can do, um, your frequency separation, if you want to know the actions I use, the panel I use, it's the Retouch Academy as you see. Uh, this picture is 16-bit as you see right here. So you hit 16-bit, let it go through the action, hit OK right here. Okay, let it go through the action. Cool, there it is. All right, you move that over. Go down to where it says low frequency colors. All right, cool. Let's try to move this up so you guys can see it. <clears throat> then you go to the mixer brush. You know that mixer brush is magical. <laughs> and you make sure this is checked. You see my um, arrow up here? Not this one, this one. Because you want to see the checkerboard. So what I'll do, I have my wetness at 2%. My load at 75, you know, I'm going to put my wetness at 1%. <clears throat> load 75, mix 90, flow 100%, 10% right here. Do not have sample all layers checked. All right, so we just do it real quick. We go on the shirt, and we start to mix and watch these wrinkles go away. You see that? Real quick, nice and easy. So you never know. You might have a photo that you really love, but it's it has deep wrinkles in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe you could try this um, method of getting it out. And I'm just going to show you real quick. Real quick. We're not going to take long at all. We're going to go here and try to get all the wrinkles out over here. You see how they're blending in, the wrinkles? I wasn't supposed to do this part. Um, so let me go back. That was a little too much. Don't do too much. What I did, I hit a Command Z to go back. And I, when I'm smoothing and getting the wrinkles out, I try to lift my finger um, or stop using. I was using the mouse right quick. I don't know why. When I have a pen, I have the XP pen, so I just grab my pen real quick, and I'm just trying to smooth out some of the wrinkles you know with denim you're gonna have little wrinkles but i'm trying to smooth as much as i can real quick to show you and that's how you do it that's how you smooth out wrinkles maybe you might have a <clears throat> um a dress a top or something that you love that photo but it's really wrinkled and you stuck you don't really know what you want to do or how you're going to edit it and i'm showing you real quick how to get the wrinkles out, smooth out the wrinkles using frequency separation. I know a lot of people think it's just for skin, but you can use it on backdrops. Um, you can use it on a lot of things, but I'm just showing you right quick, <clears throat> excuse me, how to do it like this. Now, it looks natural, so you don't want to go and try to be, you know, make it look fake. So that's cool. So I'm going to show you before and after. We did that real quick. So that's after. That's before. Look at all those wrinkles in that top. That's after. See what I'm saying? Then you uh, back up off. It looks natural. It looks like it was iron. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's how um, you smooth out wrinkles the way I do it. If you know a different way, hey, tell me down in the comments and we'll take it from there. Now, I learned your way. You can learn my way. So that's how I do it, how it smoothed out real quick. You see, it didn't take no time. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Like, subscribe, hit that bell for um, notifications for upcoming videos. I'm going to continue to um, edit in Photoshop and Affinity Photo. Don't forget, I do use Affinity Photo for iPad. So if you have any questions for Affinity Photo and iPad or for the iPad, let me know down in um, the comments and... What I'll try to do is answer to my best ability because I have been using it for the last two years. I just started using Photoshop again. Um, 
because I wanted to start teaching in both both realms because I've really been an instructor in Infinity Photo. So now I want to come back to Photoshop so I can help a few people. All right. Thank you. Holla at you. See you later. Peace.